hello beauty babes welcome welcome back to my channel in today's video as you can see i'm in a different location don't mind that i'm just visiting my boyfriend but content still has to get produced so i'm filming a video and as you can see by the title i'm gonna finally be testing out the maybelline sky high last lash sensational mascara this mascara has been sold out for a while i know i'm late but it, it was sold out everywhere i uh, still technically didn't really get the one i wanted i wanted the waterproof one and the black is black but when i went to target they only had the regular version in the black is black and they had the waterproof in the brownish black I'm not gonna get brown mascara, I just don't want it. I like black mascara, so I didn't buy it. So I thought, you know, I could still test out this one and we can still see um, how it is. I'm gonna do another video over this one versus the regular Lash Sensational Mascara. I just didn't bring it with me. I thought I did, but I didn't. So that'll be a future video to come. But this technically isn't a test because I wore this mascara, um, two days ago like twice in a row because I just wanted to see the hype and I needed the mascara while I was down here so I went to the store was lucky to find this one but yeah I know everyone's been raving about it so I just want to give my thoughts and let's get right on into the video okay so like I said previously this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational um, mascara and this is in the black is black the regular formula not the waterproof formula i believe there's only two like i know like maybelline has like a bunch of different of the same kind of mascaras but like different if you know what i'm talking about so i'm just going to put it on my eyes and you know obviously you know how mascara goes on this is my first mascara video so but i do want to show the applicator Okay, so this is what the applicator is looking like. It looks pretty basic. It's not too big, not too small. I feel like it's pretty nice size. This is what it looks like. It doesn't look like there's like overcrowding of product on the brush, especially at the tip like some mascaras are. So I'm just going to, you know, put one coat on my eyes and then come back and talk to y'all. Okay, so this is top and bottom mascara on, um, as you can see, you can't really see my underneath lashes unless I like come close to the camera, but this is obviously without and this is obviously with. Um, I don't have on any other makeup on, by the way, because I just wanted the focus to be on the mascara, you know, like typically with my other mascara reviews. So yeah, this is just one coat. I'm gonna put another coat on this side and then um, show what it looks like on both eyes. Okay, so this is with both eyes applied with the mascara. As you can see, I got a little bit under here. Um, it doesn't do that on its own. As you can see with my eyes, I don't really have any mascara on my eyelids like I do with a lot of mascaras this one I just accidentally messed up so ignore that but this is how it's looking with the one coat I'm gonna go off camera do the two coats and then come back and show you how it looks with the two coats in hopes that it won't get too clumpy but we will see Okay, so this is with two coats, um, a little clumped, 
right here in the middle area. I'm gonna try and see if I can maybe get it to separate. If you have like tweezers or even a lash comb, I feel like, you know, obviously you can get it to separate a little more. But this is with the double coats and this is with the um, one coat. I only still have the one coat on the bottom of my lashes because I typically don't put two coats under my lashes. But like I said, this is the double one. There is a slight difference. Like if you look from afar, you can definitely tell one side is applied more. But I actually like the one coat. It looks really nice, really natural, like my eyes are lifted and the mascara is on, but it looks like I don't really have on any mascara. So I'm gonna put on the second coat with the other lash and come back and give my full feedback on how it looks. Okay, so the second coat is on both eyes, and what I do with this eye is, as you can see, it's a little more, um, what's the word I'm looking for, a little more separated. What I try to do is not go super rough in with the wand and super, um, like a lot of times, I try not to go over it too many times because I noticed that's when it would get a little more clumpy, but I was able to separate this side a little bit, like I said, with some um, tweezers and it looks actually pretty nice i wouldn't really say say that it's revolutionary um just because um i can't remember the price of this mascara but there's this one mascara that i've been testing out a lot lately just to see if i actually like it too i just wanted to get a review out on this one because i know a lot of people are like raving about it so i wanted to get kind of like a i wanted to get a first impression so that i needed this uh, mascara so I ended up putting it on but I plan to when I get back home show you the mascara that I have um, been wearing because it kind of looks like this if not better and it's cheaper so I will be sure to get that video out but this is how they are looking after two coats a part of me wants to add a third just to see if it'll do anything so I think I am going to do that. I think I'm going to add on a third coat and then come back and show you what it looks like. Hopefully I don't have spider lashes. Okay, so third coat has been applied. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I can definitely tell in person it did make a difference. Um, they look a little more voluminous. Now I can only assume by the name Sky High, this is a lengthening mascara, not much volume in it which is pretty much what I like anyway I like lengthening I don't mind not having that extra volume in mascaras because I you know my lashes are pretty kind of there anyway but um yeah they look nice this is how they're looking from a distance like I said don't have any other makeup on my face this is it I like it I mean this is definitely a mascara that I would reach for. Don't get me wrong. Yes, I said my cheaper one works better, but since I have it, it's definitely a mascara I would um, reach for and use again. Like I definitely, this won't be one of the mascaras that I'm just like, mm, I can live without. But uh, I'll do a comparison with the other mascara, like I said, and see which one I like better so you can see which one you want to spend your money on. But if you just want to get this one, it's pretty good. I definitely say like it's, it's a pretty good mascara. It's pretty, it does its job. It does what I feel like it, it, it's going to claim to do. You know, as you can see, my eyelashes look long and a little thicker with that third coat. Like it, look, it looks nice and natural. So I really, really like it. But Anyway, we have come to the end of today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.